with the game still fairly new on console, we're still getting an influx of new players into Stranded Deep, I decided to put a call out to all veteran players that have been playing this game since early access for tips and tricks for you new players, things that I haven't even thought of, things that only a veteran player would know. I was not disappointed, guys. I got inundated with a number of different tips and tricks, and I'm bringing them right to you right now. This next tip comes from Evolution, and this one really is a pro tip. This one, guys, blew my wig back. I can't even express it enough. All right, she said, when water is dire, instead of going and drinking a ton of coconuts, potentially getting yourself sick and putting yourself in a worse position than you are before you started drinking the coconuts, she said, instead, collect four fibrous leaves, make a lashing, Grab a coconut, whether off the tree or off the ground. Don't open it. Don't do what you normally did do to get the husk off and drink the water. Instead, just make a coconut flask. What it does is it turns that coconut water into fresh water, allowing you to drink it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That one was amazing. I didn't know that one at all. That blew my wig back. This next tip comes from Les Ganton. And what he said is when you find a container crate and you're looking for something specific, do not open that container crate. Instead, take it over to your save hut. Save your game. Then you can open it. If you find the item successfully inside that you are looking for, fantastic. However, if you don't, all you have to do is reload your game the items inside are randomized and it'll make it a lot easier to find the item that you're looking for. The only pain is you'll have to continually reload your game. And this tip comes from Daniel Powell and he, I could have used this tip when I fought Luska the Great. If you guys didn't watch that boss fight, just kidding there was a pain. Anyways, he says if you make a sleeping bag, you can pop it anywhere, including your raft. And if it gets nighttime, you can just sleep. Just drop it. Literally. This next tip comes from Evolution. She said, for better raft control, make a raft with sails on each point, northeast, southwest. That way, you don't ever have to get out of your boat to turn your raft around. As you can see, my rudder is right here. We're actually going backwards. Now, if you want to go sideways, hit both sails. Go sideways. But she did say that the game is a little buggy, and when you lag out, you potentially could end up off your raft and your raft floating away. Instead, make sure you have a rudder. Even though it's really useless, it'll lock you to the boat. This next tip comes from Templar Knight, and he says... After crafting a stone tool, use that stone tool until it's almost 5%. You can tell the durability of your tool on the bottom of the wheel when you highlight over it in your inventory. Once it hits 5%, use it to craft an axe, a knife, or something else. Once you craft it into a new tool item, the durability of that stone tool will then become 100% again allowing you to get much more use out of your resources. All right, guys, that is just five of the tips and tricks that veterans submitted for this video. If you liked the video, if you found it useful or anything, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more, the rest of those tips and tricks that I left out that I haven't picked, Leave a comment down below for that as well, and we'll make another video. Everybody that submitted, you guys are amazing. There was a great show that came out. Um, I really appreciate it. The new players really appreciate it more. Your, your, uh, the veteran knowledge of the game is unparalleled for anybody. So you guys, you guys are stars all in my book. I am Granddaddy Gamer. With much love, I will see you guys in the next video.